Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the sign of Aries. Okay, your card has flown out. We have judgment, quite a powerful energy here. Um, as your overarching energy, it is a quite a powerful energy, okay. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Aries. Angels, what does Aries need to hear the most for this week? Thank you. The situation will improve. You see, this angel or this being, call it what you will, they're being guided by these dolphins towards the light, you know, towards seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, towards the surface. You know, it feels in this kind of energy, you're going to find direction, that's for sure. The situation will improve. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message areas. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides. 18th to the 24th of January, 2021. What does Aries need to hear the most, please? Do one more shuffle. What does Aries need to hear the most, please, for this week? Thank you. Knight of Swords. The star is your challenge. Four of Swords is advice from spirit. And the Ten of Cups is your outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guide. Let's clarify these cards on the table. 18th to the 24th of January, 2021. Okay. What do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. The Hanged Man. Judgment again. Wow. He's clarifying the star. The Four of Swords we have with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck we have the Five of Wands. So there is a message here, Aries. The situation will improve. You know, it feels like the tunnel energy. Um, finding direction, you know, it's that kind of energy I'm feeling. The, the judgment card is appearing twice. It's a big major arcana energy. The judgment is essentially everybody is judged. It's the, the awakening of the souls. Um, when everybody's judged by their deeds, by their actions, both good and bad, you know, it, you know, and, and we see You know, it's an energy of stepping into your light. I mean, you can see the gates opening there as well, the gates of heaven, call it what you will. But it, it feels in this situation that there is a call to action, a need to make some kind of judgment call decision on how you deal with the situation. Because... Judgment can be a card of, it's, a, it's an energy of stepping into your light. It can be a card of forgiveness as well. 
I mean, it feels in this energy that you have an opportunity now. Something is coming to light here, Aries, where you have to make some kind of choice or decision, and it's a karmic choice. It's a decision that will stay with you for some time. Um, there's generally finality to the judgment card. And it feels in this situation, it can be when you're choosing whether to give somebody a second chance or to go your own way, to end something. And it definitely feels in this situation, that's what you're wrestling with. That's what you're trying to find enlightenment with. Because... The hanged man energy is, is a waiting energy, it's a stuck energy. Um, it's a card of pause. Something feels like it's... The hanged man appears when we go through things in our life that make us feel in limbo. So, for example, changes in relationships. Um, it can be changes in jobs. It can be our health. You know, it's when we our life feels like it's on pause. And you're waiting for enlightenment to really see the way forward, to see the solution, you know? Because the Knight of Swords, it can be an energy of truth or some news or information coming in that makes you feel on pause, that requires you to look at something in a different way to find some kind of solution. Um, it feels in this energy, Aries, and that's what the decision is all about, something... It, feel, it feels you don't know whether... you. You, you're feeling stuck because you don't you you feel like you have to make some kind of choice or a decision and you're waiting for that enlightenment it's interesting that i saw the light in that card as well the light at the end of the tunnel you're waiting for the illumination the light on how to deal with a situation some truth or information or piece of information that's come to you and it feels like it's changed your perspective in some ways or made you feel in limbo with regard to love romance relationships and the ten of cups is the happy home the blissful relationship the happy family happy relationship wanting for nothing feeling fulfilled on every level it feels like some something's happened here and you'll wonder how do i how do i see the way forward in this how do I deal with this situation? Because this news has brought change. Um, and it's almost kind of like you're waiting to see that way forward. The challenge is, do I see hope in this situation anymore? You know, do I see a way past this? Is there hope or has this information, you know, damaged all hope in this relationship? And again, that is what the challenge is, the judgment card. Do I give somebody a second chance or do I go my own way? You know, do I finish it once and for all? You know, is this something that I can forgive? Because again, that judgment card is a card of forgiveness. So it's, it's what you're wrestling with. I mean, the star is a card of hope generally, but it's your challenge position. Um, and it can well be in this situation, you're questioning, is there hope in this? But generally with the star energy, you are, you are being guided towards the path. You are being guided towards the right path for you from God, the divine, the universe. It's a card of new growth. It's a card of renewal of self. I mean, there's definitely rebirth energies with both of these as well. But it's an energy of, do I see us getting past this, starting over again, that kind of energy? Um, are we strong enough to deal with this or do I go my own way? You know, it's, it feels that kind of energy. The message here is Aries, give something some deep thought and you will find the clarity on how you need to move forward in a situation, you know? Uh, because, you know, that the Ace of Swords is the epiphany, the clarity, the decision, 
this is the way I'm moving forward. And it's the new beginning energy, the Ace of Swords. Um, it can be a card of recovery. The Four of Swords, again, how do I recover from this? And then we have, bam, you know, this is the decision. This is the clarity, the lucidity. And this is the way I'm going to go. You know, this is the way I'm going to overcome this challenge. This is my decision. So the message is that the illumination will come to you and it's guided to you by God, the divine, the universe towards a new path. It's either for both of you or or for, for you, you know, it, this can as well be cord cutting energy. Um, but it, it definitely feels in this situation, it's more to do with mental clarity. I'm finally getting clarity on which way I need to go, having been stuck, you know, uh, having been floored by something that has brought change to how I perceive a situation or a person. Yeah, because there's definitely been heated arguments, conflict. I mean, whatever this news has been, it's caused conflict and it's caused possibly struggle in the relationship. And the message with the five of wands is this is why judgment is here, because it's something that needs to be dealt with now. It's something that you need to make a decision on now. You know, it's that kind of energy of give something some deep thought, but it's an energy of nip it in the bud before this spirals out of control. And it might well be because should you choose to patch up a relationship, give somebody a second chance, there is hope here at the moment. But should this spiral out of control, you know, this can be about bad feeling, not being on the same page, conflicts, petty arguments, squabbles. It can be something that is very destructive. So there is an energy of you can overcome something. The, the Six of Wands is a card of victory coming through the other side of a situation in your power. Discovering what you're made of and putting some challenge or obstacle behind you. And it's in that Ten of Cups energy. Um, and it's whether it depends on what this decision is for you, whether you go your own way or whether you overcome something as a couple or as a family and put a difficult situation behind you. But there is an energy of victory is available to you. Victory is available to you now um, in whichever context this resonates for you, Aries. You have the power from conflict to bring back equilibrium in your life. But it's an energy, the six of, of ones of taking action, of doing something about it. It's a card of success as well. So whatever you choose, I feel, you know, the six of ones is somebody who, who has overcome some kind of challenge and puts a difficult situation behind them and feels pretty good about it, you know? So whatever decision that you make, I feel it's gonna be the right one for you, which is a beautiful energy. And for that reason, there will be, the situation will improve if you act now. It's a powerful reading, Aries. Obviously take what resonates for you, it won't be for everybody. So final message for Aries, please. There is an energy of you need to make some kind of judgment call this week. And it's a powerful, it's a karmic judgment call. Yeah, I, I like the purity energy. And I, I will tell you why, because the purity energy is catharsis. It's purging energy. Can you purge something and bring transformation to your life? You know, can you wipe the slate clean? It's that kind of energy in whichever, whichever decision you make for you. It definitely feels for some of you, it feels very much like a blank canvas energy starting over again, uh, starting from point zero or point one, call it what you will. So we have purity, always trust the purity of your heart, look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. The message is the heart matters as much as the head. You know, and in really in, in matters of relationships and love, it's better for the heart to leave because the head can catch up. Whereas decisions with the head, you know, um, it's very difficult for the heart to catch up with the mind. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy. So there's definitely this kind of energy of, of make that balanced decision from the heart and also the head. 
And that's how you get perspective, move forward in this situation, make a clear judgment call this week. It's a powerful energy, um, Aries. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.